it is lovely to see you, Paula. I haven't seen you since before Penny was born. <laughs> and now she's six months old. Um, and we did a KG hypnobirthing course. Before she was born. <laughs> and I just wondered what effect that had you felt when, when she was born. Our birth couldn't have been any more opposite to my first birth with Arthur. It was, um, I can only describe as a magical experience that, you know, I'm willing to tell the world about all the time because it was just phenomenal. I just really felt in control and, yeah, it, it was magical. <laughs> it really was. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. I'm delighted. I hear it quite a lot after classes, but mm. it's just lovely to hear it from you as well. Yeah. It's what makes my job worthwhile, hearing <laughs> things like that, because it's just... It's how birth always should be, and sadly isn't always. Um, did she arrive quickly, or? I didn't have any concept of time, to be honest, and I didn't allow myself to be worried about that. So um, Penny arrived in her own time. There was no interventions. Um, it was a week past my due date, but that didn't even matter. Early hours of the morning, um, a little trickle with my waters, and then I just kept calm. I even laid down with Arthur in his bedroom, smiling to myself, would you believe, <laughs> through these surges. Arthur being your son My, my is... first son, who, yeah, my only son, sorry. <laughs> and uh, he is, he would have been 19 months at the time. He's two now. So I was quietly smiling to myself, which I thought this is almost bizarre, but <laughs> because of obviously all the KG hypnobirthing training, it just, I knew everything. I just trusted my body, mm. and that was that was that really came into play. Was it like it just happened instead of you doing something? I mean, I know you did a lot when she was actually born. Wasn't that not how you'd put it? Um, yeah, it did just happen. But my body knew what it had to do, mm -hmm. and I think that was the main comfort that I took was that I it was all it was all ready, all ready to to, to work to do its own thing. Mm. So I didn't have to worry, didn't have to fret. Just, just to have trust in myself, really. And what time was she actually born? She was born at um, quarter past eleven in the morning. So good, it was, isn't? yeah, yeah. And how is she as a baby? Is she? She is the most calm, placid baby, apart from when it's nap times <laughs> well, and yes. possibly feeding times. But that's babies. Yeah. Very calm. Um, when she was born in the water, she she had her eyes open, and it, it was just yeah out of this world and from then on never really cried um, like I said super calm just wanted lots of cuddles you know there was never it, it, with Arthur's birth you know we've spoken previously about mm. it we were rushed to hospital it was quite um, frantic and with Penny we didn't have that we had the golden hour and that was that was perfect for us just being in here as a family and so you bonding. Had the pool in here? We had the pool in here Happy yeah enough. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Tom did all the all the donkey work. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to lay there and before and afterwards while Mum and Tom cleaned up. <laughs> which um you know, they were more than happy to do. Um not a lot of cleaning up though. No. No. <laughs> I think as long as you're organised and you know what you have to do. But but no, the midwives were absolutely um fantastic. They didn't even have to do much and they were astounded. I can't tell you how and there was a student there that had never witnessed anything like it before. She's used to being on a ward where um, people purposefully go for inductions and things, so mm. intervention. So she was, yeah, she was quite um, taken aback by the whole experience. And having Tom with you as a hypnobirthing dad, that was supportive? It couldn't have been more different, like I said, to Arthur's birth. Um, he was with me, but again, I think Tom trusted that I knew what I was doing, yeah. so I would call him occasionally if I needed my back rubbing. You know, we did the, mm. um, yeah. the massage on the back if I needed some kind words. He just knew what to do instinctively. And again, if the room wasn't as um, as calm as I, as I needed it to be, for instance, when the midwives arrived, Tom knew sort of how to just calm the whole, you know, yeah. atmosphere and just say, look, she, she's okay. She knows what she's doing. Uh, so you said it was a wonderful experience and completely different. Could you tell me a little bit more about it? So with Arthur's labor, I was, um, quite panicked. The whole experience um, from the start really hit me as I describe as a, a 10 ton truck. It was just, you know, I, I couldn't have any control. I was in this room, in, in that room over there. It was just, yeah, couldn't find um, a place where I just wanted to sit and, and gather myself. 
with Penny, um, it was so still and I just found that the visualisations in terms of um, the sun rising, everything rising up in that first stage that I'd learnt in the KG hypnobirthing really helped me. So I, I sort of knelt down um, on one of the chairs and I whistled through my, <laughs> my first stage of labour. And afterwards my mum said, I'm sure I could hear you whistling. And I said, I did, because it was something about things rising, yeah. it helped me. Nobody and, says you have And to that cry. wasn't in the book, but Nobody you know. Nobody says you have to make a noise and do what works for you. But um, I just found that myself. So, yeah, and again, like I said, just, just trust in my body. There was never a moment where I thought, I can't do this, I need to call it in. You know, I have to go to hospital or whatever. Mm. That, that wasn't, um, yeah, that just wasn't in, the, in my mind at all. That's fantastic. Because of course, people come to a KG hypnobirthing course for a more comfortable birth for mother, which is fantastic. But if you're calm, you're producing different hormones, and that affects the baby. And a calm birth without drugs affects the baby. Mm -hmm. And birth must be the most formative experience of our lives. And I'm always hearing stories, like the little Penny, mm -hmm. she's so calm. And that's going to make a difference to the whole of her life, I think. Yeah. It's even more important. I can definitely see how even the, um, you know, before the birth, the preparation, how that kind of paved the way for her. Um, I would make time every evening, uh, you know, when Arthur had gone to bed, to go to my bedroom, light my candles, have the KG um, hypnobirthing CD on, and just have that, that time for myself and for baby. And, and like I said, it did. She, she, was, she wasn't... Um, you know, a bit of bother if, if you can describe it like that. When, when she was born, she just wanted the love and um, the care as most babies do. But there was a, a definite, like, a, yeah, she was just a very calm baby, still is. And even with, with a second baby, it's not quite so easy to find <laughs> that time. But it's only 10 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, and well, that's true. Yeah, difference. on an evening, yeah, yeah. And um, that really helped me. Mm. I was definitely the most um, relaxed I've ever been. Fantastic. And I think it's important to mention as well, post baby, mm -hmm. that I had done all this relaxation beforehand, and then when baby arrives, suddenly that what you know that all goes out the window because you're you're kind of having to look after this baby and nurture it. So I think it's really important actually that it carries on post baby, even if you can just spend five minutes sort of like gathering yourself when baby's asleep or something because from a mother's point of view you feel like you've been nurtured through this kg hypnobirth and then all of a sudden when baby's here that there, there's no like relaxation anymore sometimes you we know do. You, we should have sent it to you i don't think i did the we, post we've got an audio for a new mother oh well there we go <laughs> then so next time <laughs> i'll send it to you yes <laughs> please but you're absolutely right people say that when a baby's born a mother's born too yeah. It's like being a new person, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It is. But I, through the KG hypnobirthing, I definitely feel um, the strongest and more robust I've ever felt. And it's, it's, I think it's character building. And remember you saying in the training how it is quite life, life changing. Mm. It's life coaching, if you, you like. You can use it when you're going for an audition. Exactly. You do the breathing yep. before you. Yeah, and it's worked audition. so far. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's. Um, and some people, the audio that you listen to in pregnancy and probably at the birth, some people use it after a baby's born because apparently if a baby has learnt that mum relaxes to that sound and they'll settle quickly. Yeah, yeah, I did try that actually a couple of times <laughs> when um, when Penny was, was born, when it was a little bit, when she'd sleep for longer if you like, mm. at, at the beginning stages of, um, of her life. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see how. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ready to, ready to play everywhere and uh, roll around and yeah. yeah, she's super. Fantastic. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.